Regardless of our religious beliefs, there are certain places in the world with undeniable energy. The power to stir our emotions, inspire reflection or fill us with a sense of peace. These are our favorite destinations to get in touch with our spiritual side, from time-honored temples and rituals to ruins that time forgot. Number 7. Delphi, Greece. Perhaps no city epitomizes Greek mysticism better than mountainside Delphi. According to legend, Zeus determined the site to be the center of Grandmother Earth, and it was guarded by a faithful python for hundreds of years. Eventually, the python was slain by the god Apollo, who then claimed sacred Delphi as his own. Around the 8th century BC, the ancient Greeks began constructing a sanctuary here to honor their founding deity. The resulting temple of Apollo was occupied by the Pythia, a high priestess who served as the mouthpiece of Delphi's patron god with her cryptic, divine insights into the future. Number 6. Ancient Egypt. Egypt is a land of profound majesty and mystery, and a magnet for treasure hunters, history lovers, and adventure seekers. At its heart are the mighty Nile, a true oasis in the desert and the lifeblood of Egypt's enduring history and culture. The first settlers were drawn to its fertile banks in the 10th millennium BC, making Egypt one of the world's oldest nation-states. Over time, these primitive hunter-gatherers evolved into a formidable civilization ruled by pharaohs and marked by incredible prosperity. During their dynasties, these rulers left indelible marks on the Egyptian landscape. Tombs, temples, and monuments sprung up all along the Nile, and relics of their reign are regularly uncovered by eager archaeologists and everyday Egyptians alike. Number 5. Bhutan. Called everything from the last Shangri-La to paradise on earth, Bhutan is a tiny Buddhist kingdom nestled in the Himalayas between India and China. Fiercely protective of its monarchy, culture, and ancient traditions, Bhutan remained almost completely cut off from the outside world for many centuries. It wasn't until the 1970s that the country began to let in a trickle of foreign visitors. Today, it remains an isolated land of virgin forests, devout Buddhist monks, pastoral villages, ancient cliff-top monasteries, and fluttering prayer flags, all more vital than modern innovation in this nation that measures its prosperity in terms of gross national happiness. Number 4. Jerusalem, Israel. Jerusalem is separated into three distinct districts. Behind walls rebuilt by the Ottomans in the 16th century, the old city contains holy sites for Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. The Temple Mount, the Western Wall, and the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, all call Jerusalem home. During the day, markets bustle with all kinds of goods, depending on whether in the Jewish, Muslim, Christian, or Armenian quarter. The new city, which is predominantly Jewish, is in the western part of the city. Yet, wherever you find yourself in Jerusalem, the centuries-old stone buildings and the multitude of cultures and traditions will inspire all. Number 3. Kyoto, Japan. Kyoto was Japan's capital for over a thousand years, from 794 until the Meiji Restoration in 1868. When the capital was shifted to Tokyo, Kyoto had already been firmly established as a center of the arts and a city that embodied Japanese culture at its most refined, and Kyoto remains Japan's spiritual and cultural heart. Never bombed during World War II, it is home to atmospheric lantern-lined streets, traditional wooden tea houses, and everything one associates with classical Japanese culture. There are some 2,000 Shinto shrines and Buddhist temples here, along with the iconic Golden Pavilion, a five-story wooden structure painted in shimmery gold. Number 2. Machu Picchu, Peru. Although it is Peru's most well-known attraction, Machu Picchu is still shrouded in an aura of mystery. Much of the site is still claimed by the jungle, and archaeologists haven't decided conclusively what the lost city was used for in its heyday. The two most common theories posit that it was either an estate for the Inca emperor, or a sacred religious site for the nobility. The site is located nearly 8,000 feet above sea level, set between two imposing Andean peaks. Visitors can walk among the ruins, discovering key sites like the Temple of the Sun and the Ritual Stone of Intihuatana, and hike to the Sun Gate for a panoramic view of the site as a whole. Number 1. Varanasi, India. Settled over 4,000 years ago, Varanasi is perhaps the world's oldest city. And in that time, it has become the spiritual heart of India. It is the epicenter of Hindu devotion, where pilgrims come to bathe in the Ganges, offer prayers, and cremate their dead. But it is also here that Buddhists believe that Buddha gave his first sermon. For visitors of any faith, it is a powerful thing to witness the arti ceremony at night, when sadhus show their devotion by raising flaming lamps and swinging incense, a ritual as majestic as it is mystical. 
Well this is all for today, remember to subscribe to the channel for more content like this.